Hello everyone. This is my fourth video in which I'm I will be sharing my experience implementing state management and uh, this is a combined video for for the day 4 and day 5. Uh, in these two days uh, I mostly went through tutorials uh, and I tried to implement a simple application using ngrx library. Uh, going through tutorials is uh, uh, something uh, I prefer almost when I start something new after going through documentation because uh, when we go through any of the tutorials available out there we along with uh, how particular library is implemented we also get to know the common practices followed out there so such tutorials are always something new to learn how and and there are lots of such practices that are followed throughout the industries that makes things really really easier so uh, I went through uh, YouTube to, uh, uh, for uh, various tutorials available so based upon uh, the most popular uh, I went through this uh, tutorial by Simon Gary Simon and uh, along with that there is also a blog tutorial available so if you prefer uh, going through that that's also good and uh, it's it's good uh, it's quite handy sometimes when uh, we have to make an import out there we can just copy and paste from this block tutorial as well so uh, this was the tutorial I went through uh, in these two days and other than that as uh, the tutorial being two years back uh, just uh, in order to uh, not to skip something that came new with the new releases uh, with this schematics uh, available out there I also uh, went to this tutorial by Mike uh, uh, with the name Oop Coders on YouTube and Mike1477 on GitHub so I went through this tutorial uh, which, which is one of the most re recent tutorials uh, and uh, uh, the good thing about uh, this uh, way of uh, going through tutorial when we have a get github repository set up by the youtuber is uh, that uh, for each video uh, they have made a separate commit so when uh, going through a tutorial if you are stuck with something you can always refer the changes you made uh, with the commit they have done for the video so this way if sometimes if there is some typo or something it's quite easy to check uh, where, where we missed out and uh, parallelly uh, when going through this with uh, tutorials uh, I parallelly uh, went to the documentation wherever uh, I wanted to uh, get some more better insight about the concepts when implementing them so this was all about the day 4 and 5 uh, thank you